Who has two thumbs and loves movies? The sky. Hello movie lovers! I hope you do enjoy the video. Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I'm bringing my review of The Exorcist Believer. I want to thank Universal Pictures for sending this one over for review and let me present to you my review. The Exorcist Believer, the latest addition to the iconic Exorcist franchise, brings viewers back into the realm of demonic possession and supernatural horrors. While the storyline may not directly connect to the original Exorcist movie, it cleverly weaves in elements from the past, even featuring some familiar faces, establishing itself as a sequel of sorts. The plot centers around a man facing a gut-wrenching choice between his wife and unborn daughter. <clears throat> Fast forward to the daughter's teenage years, where an eerie incident in the woods sets the stage for a chilling mystery. The narrative reminiscent of films like Searching initially unfolds slowly, building suspense and intrigue before plunging into the depths of terror. The movie takes a unique twist as the missing Girls resurface after three days with no recollection of their disappearance. The calm facade quickly shatters as they exhibit disturbing behavior, leading those around them to suspect demonic possession. The ensuing exorcism attempts to unravel the dark forces at play, unleashing a series of spine-tingling scares. One critique lies in the film's pacing, especially in the initial stages. The story's progression feels more like a mystery than a traditional horror, which may not appeal to fans expecting immediate thrills. The brief explanation of the events in the woods leaves a desire for more depth in the audience is left craving fuller understanding of the supernatural occurrences. The 4K presentation from Universal Pictures delivers clarity and detail, but the film's intentionally dark aesthetic may polarize viewers. Even sunlit scenes appear shadowy, creating a pervasive sense of gloom throughout. I tried both Dolby Vision and HDR presentations, and both of them appeared uh, just kind of dark to me. The Atmos track initially relies heavily on a dialogue, resulting in less than thrilling auditory experience. However, once the exorcism unfolds, the audio quality truly shines, immersing viewers in the spine-chilling proceedings. The contrast in audio dynamics enhances the overall horror experience, providing a much-needed intensity during crucial moments. In conclusion, The Exorcist Believer earns a 3 of 5 rating. While the film struggles with pacing and could benefit from more detailed exploration of its supernatural elements, the atmospheric, scares, and immersive audio during the exorcism scenes make it a worthy addition to The Exorcist Legacy. If you have seen this one, love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. I hope so much that you did enjoy the video. If you did, I appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. If you didn't pick this one up, let me know in the comments. Hit the like button. Subscribe for more content. Still watching? Click on a suggested video.